everyone, so uh, today we are doing a milk bath photo shoot. I'm so excited! It's gonna be great. Yeah, so if you don't know what that is, pretty much it's a bath that you put milk and water together so that the water is like all milky <laughs> or like white and you can like colour the milk as well so the bath's like coloured on you add flowers and then you do like these beautiful poses and take photos in the water and it just looks really cool and I didn't even know that this was a thing until my aunt told me about it so thank you for that I thought it would be a good idea that I take some photos of my makeup in the, in the milk bar so yeah something very different something that I've never done before um, but it's coming to be amazing I can feel it in my bones well this is the outfit I'm wearing since it's just mainly going to be my face but if you obviously might be able to sometimes I might have a shoulder or a little bit of an arm in it um, so yeah I decided to put this mesh top on because I feel like the black and the white contrast quite nicely and also on my makeup I'm gonna have black smoky eyes and then I'm gonna have like color like dispersed I guess just like big clouds of color on my face and I'm thinking like keep it in this area maybe even up. I don't really know yet I'm sort of just gonna go with the flow but yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So, let's just get started with the makeup. So I'm just starting off by adding a bit of moisturizer and coconut oil. And the coconut oil will give me this nice glow. Plus, I feel like it helps the makeup go on easy. I'm mixing my foundation and BB cream together. I feel like this is just a good combination. So I like how the BB cream applies, but I like how the foundation, I like the coverage of the foundation. I also sort of want more pale skin, because I feel like that would look really cool with the dark eyes. And then also the colour will look better on, well not better, but it will like pop more if I have a lighter base. Never really done any like experimenting with different types of photography on my channel before. Well, I'm not taking the photos, but I'm like the model, so my mom's taking the photos. But, anyways, yeah, I've never really done any sort of experimenting with different types of photography on my channel before. So, yeah, I think it's cool to try something new on my channel. Oh, also I forgot to mention that this look is very like inspired by the e-boy video I did last week. Now I'm going to put a little bit of concealer under my eyes. And anywhere else I need it. Because I have a lot, a lot of spots at the moment. Well, a lot for me. Oh my gosh, I look dead. Okay, so I'm not going to be setting my face because I'm going to be blending um, paints on top on my face. So I'm not setting it yet. But what the next thing I want to do is a contour so that I have some structure. Okay, so now I'm just going to be doing my eyebrows, which I rarely do, so wish me luck. First time in forever, I've actually done my eyebrows. 
Okay, so I had something to show and I forgot what I was going to show. So yeah, now we're going to move on to the smoky black eyeballs. I don't know if I should just go straight in with the black or if that's a terrible idea. So I'm actually going to start out with, you can't even see that, this colour here, which is quite a dark colour to start with, but let's just try it. I'm just going to put this sort of as a transition shade. I'm also going to take whatever's left over underneath the eye. Now I'm going to go in with a slightly smaller brush than what we started with and go on with a darker colour. And then I'm going to put this more in the crease than the other shade. Very, very carefully. What have I done? And I'm going to go under the eye with this. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with some of the lap. Scary. So scary. I'm taking a flat brush and I'm going to pack this on the eyelid. Think about it, I probably should have done my face after this. So, oops. Keep blending, just keep blending, just keep blending. You know what? I think we're just gonna keep this here and then start going into color from the black. Anyway, so now I'm gonna take my Ben Knight Rainbow Wheel and add some color, like down here and down here. Okay, so this is what the colour looks like. I feel like it looks pretty cool. If I feel like I look like I've tie-dyed my face. But I think it's pretty cool. So now the last thing I'm going to do is my lips. And I'm just going to do them fully with black paint. I think I want to blend the black out a bit. This is the finished makeup and now we're going to go to take the photos and I'm going to show you how I do the bath and everything like that. So let's go! Okay so I'm just running the bath now. And I'm about to go get some powdered milk because real milk's too expensive. And then I'm just going to put a little bit by little bit until I get as much as I want in there. And it looks like cloudy enough. And then I've got some rose petals to put in. So then I'll put the rose petals in. So let's do that. So the bath is just running. And then we've got our powdered milk here. And I've also got some blue food colouring if I want to make it a little bit blue. I'm going to start adding some in. And you're going to have to mix it because it's going to be like lumpy. But yeah. Oh, 
is really hot. Wash those tongues. Need to put some cold. I haven't really tried it on. Well, you need to cool it down. Yeah, okay, I do. Okay, so we're going There's also some extra petals if you want to put that around my head. But do you remember the photos I showed you? Um, yeah. Just something similar to that. So I don't know how far down to go because I want my head to be back like this. Mm -hmm. Wet my hair first. What does that look like? Mm -hmm. I've got the wing here. 